It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't... I already know. Threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. Where are you? I'm the future. Oh, it's... Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. All the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. Go easy on them horses, will ya? They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. <laughs> Bear left here, towards Rhodes. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And my folks, say, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. And fondling that new scar, that you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. You're gonna run the horses to death. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. 
I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty. Hunters to bring in Shaw McGuire. And look at me now. In the gunner's see. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. and join us on there. Go on! Get on there! Faster! All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Chat with Romeo and Juliet here. Don't molest me, please. We're dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. I, I don't want to get hooked. I'll do Money. anything. Hey, don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Oh, well, come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Oh, don't don't do this. Oh, the captain. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Inspect this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Don't do it. Wait, Jack. Tough guy, huh? You sure about that? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Deal with this fella, will you? Quick, come on. Come on, partner. Come on, quick. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Stop it, for pity's sake. Don't make me hurt. Honey, now! Shut up, bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Please, please, don't help me. Please don't help me. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Here. 
What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. At least you ain't got a hole in it. And this racket's in there. Just keep your eyes peeled. I know, that's what's worrying me. These folks are rich, all right. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss.
Yes? Can I help you? Hey. Ah, ah. Gah. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. How you doing today? Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a fella from not too bad to hearty as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Does this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Oh, thanks. Be well, friend. You all right, girl? Yep.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Hmm. Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time into Strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the... Tr What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? It comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town, just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing him. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Halt. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah.
Get this out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put... I'm half a fight, at least. Yeah! Baylock! Come on. Dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy. I'll give you the honors. Town of? Well, this little mess. That should do it. Come on, let's see if it was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun.
Idiot. Yep. your name I never did you're like a brother but I didn't learn your name and I said to myself Mickey you never learned that fella's name now you'll never see him again and you'll be sad like when your poppy passed because you slept on it what's your name mister Arthur Arthur my uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name, a strong name, like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yeah, yes, you could. Well, hello again. Ready for a clean slate? Try biding along. It ain't so bad. Good day to you. <laughs> okay then, girl. Trash. I'm only kidding around. You had me hey, for friend. a second there. Morning to you. Buddy. Hello. Hey, partner. Mister. Good morning to you. Morning, partner. Hey, hey. Let's talk about this. Arthur. Oh, hey, Arthur, fellas. come lend a hand here. Go ahead. Look at that. Him. I'm sure you oh, I care. Him up, oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. How you doing, friend? 
You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey there, partner. Uh, hey there, partner. How you do? Oh, hell! If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Nasty individual. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. A certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. Sure, huh? Just paying my regards. Mister. I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. 
Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you. You and that girl, what was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. 
Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. So what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Looks like one of them don't... Yep, that spooked them all right. All right, let's go round them up. <clears throat> Come on, girl. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. <laughs> yep. Easy. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. This route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle it. Go, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you got it! Watch out! Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. 
for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromise us. Compromise it. Well, I have never been a man. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Poe. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You think I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor...
Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can. Can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! 